everybody, how's it going? And today we're going to be opening the first set of Overdress. Uh, I've really been looking forward to this. I've been playing with the start decks this past week and it's been a lot of fun, but I'm ready to move on to more full strategies and this set is what is going to allow me to do that. So the way we're going to go about this is the first box. I'm going to go ahead and open it like normal. I'll show everybody what's inside. And then for the next two boxes, I'm going to cut open the packs. That way we can kind of go through them a little bit faster. Uh, since, you know, there are quite a few packs to open here. So here we have seven cards per pack and 16 packs per box. Uh, we also have a little, uh, little box topper here. Uh, let's see if I can pop that out. There we go. So inside, we have a uh, box topper. We have the sleeves. These come with four sleeves for your ride deck. Uh, they're all themed after different characters. Uh, so these are cool. And then you have the one promo over trigger. Uh, this is the same over trigger as the start deck, uh, but just has, you know, the uh, the art on it like that. So that's what comes in a box. And then of course you have uh, the packs. So we'll go ahead and get these open. I can't get the, can't get the, uh, the flap to work because of the way that I'm filming. So we'll go ahead, go through all these packs and make sure there's none left in there. Yep, it's empty. And uh, open them, get these boxes out of the way for later. That way we can put all of our pulls here. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I'm planning to play, man, I can't, usually you're able to like thumb these open. There we go. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing, uh, to playing Dark States, uh, both of the decks, both Barrow Magnus um, and Bruce. Uh, and then anything that's Keter, uh, I'll probably keep just because I'm a big fan of the Keter clans. So here we have Vakal, Javoris, Tartarus Beat Scram, really good card. Adaptin, Nigel from uh, Eugene. We have a rare here for Dragon Empire. Uh, the rares have this kind of like, like gloss kind of with just a touch of foiling, just a little bit. Uh, and then we have a hollow trigger. Uh, so certain cards in the set uh, that normally come as, I think it's common or uncommon, um, are put as foils for the set. So uh, put our hollows there, where's there. So they um, kind of replace the normal uh, setup, uh, the normal rarity, and then they... Um, and then they kind of give it the double rare foiling. Uh, not too big on, on these hollows. I'm much more excited for the ones that come in Festival Collection. So, oh, here we have uh, Lapisto. Really good card for Keter Sanctuary. Keter Sanctuary Order. A heal trigger. The uh, 15K Order for Dragon Empire. Pretty good card. We have the Orphist um, Order, the, what is it, Hollowing Moonlit Night. Uh, again, same as last time, but I, I'm a big fan of those set orders. And then we have Cursed Souls. Uh, so this is an order for Stoikea. I'm not sure how much play this sees. Um, and then we have our first... What is this? A double rare, I believe? Oh no, this is the SP. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it. Uh, so this is a really great card for um, for Bruce. Uh, it comes one SP per box. 
So it seems our, our SP is Marjorie. I, I was thinking, I thought Marjorie was a double rare. This looks, you know, a little different. And so it seems our SP was Marjorie. That's that's pretty cool. Good SP to pull. Uh, big fan of Marjorie. Really good card for Bruce, uh, even though it kind of has been getting cut a little bit lately um, once the uh, festival collection comes out, but uh, still a good card nonetheless. So we'll keep going. That's cool. That's our one SP. Yeah, these packs are... Maybe we'll open them uh, the way with the slit. The opening like that uh, kind of always gives me a little bit of trouble. We have a Dragon Empire order. We have the uh, Shiga Monago. Uh, pretty good card for Dragon Empire. Velasa Hazard. The Dragon Empire Heal Trigger, the Starter for Orphist, uh, Twin Buckler Dragon, the Rare, which is the uh, Sentinel for Dragon Empire, and we have the Painkiller Angel for Ketter Sanctuary. Uh, this is a uh, double rare here. So put that in our double rare pile. This is we'll go in our rare pile. Um, so yeah, it seems like I'm getting a lot of uh, Dragon Empire stuff. Um, yeah, so basically what I'm what I'm looking to keep is going to be Dark States, Keter Sanctuary, and Stoikea. Uh, my girlfriend plans to play Stoikea. Uh, Deep Soniker, the level one for the ride line for uh, Barrow Magnus. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, Vakel again. Tearful Malice, another order for Stoikea. Triconnect Sorceress, this is the uh, starter for Hexa Orb. We have the heal trigger uh, for uh, Brank Gate. Electro Spartan, really good and rare. Um, this is for the Barrow Magnus ride line. And then we have our first over trigger. And, and it is the uh, Dark States over trigger. So that's, that's really exciting. I'm glad to have gotten... The Dark States Over Trigger for sure. Um, the Dark Straits, the Dark States Over Trigger uh, is not the best Over Trigger. Uh, could be considered maybe the worst, um, but I'm happy to have it since I'm planning to play Dark States anyways. So sort of judgment again. A front trigger. We're getting a lot of uh, Breakgate triggers here. We got the uh, Common Angel. This is a plus 5k guard for every grade 3. Really good in Bastion. Uh, Dragon Empire draw. This uh, looks like it's for Eugene, but yeah, it's talking about retiring. So this is for Eugene. Uh, this is our rare. And then we have uh, part of the ride line for Orphist as another rare. And we have the Stoikea Sentinel as a hollow. So that's cool. Uh, still, still, I, I feel like, you know, we've gotten some good pulls. We've gotten some Marjorie and, and the over trigger for Dark States, but uh, we're kind of missing, I feel like, the, uh, the generic Dark States cards. So here we have the Shadow Army token. We have uh, Rutus for the Orphis ride line, the Ketter Sanctuary front, Hydraulic Ram Dragon. Uh, my understanding is, is this card is, is decent. The Eugene starter. We have Tartine, um, just good uh, Ketter Sanctuary card as our rare. And our first triple rare is Eugene. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Hopefully I can uh, maybe trade this away. But, um, you know, it's a triple rare nonetheless. Uh, Eugene, um, definitely not my first choice of deck, I would say. Um, but does the, the triple rare foiling, it, it, it's, it's really nice, I gotta say. It's really nice. 
I really like the kind of uh, shattered foiling look. Did we get there? Uh, we have the front trigger for Stoikea. Another Stoikea trigger. Megan from Dark States. Shugen from Dragon Empire. We have the draw trigger for Keter. Divine Sister for Keter. And our double rare Tensha Steed. Put that in our double rare pile. Put that in our rare pile. It's interesting. You know, my most of my experience with these cards so far has been through Dark States. So it's interesting, you know, I, I still see cards that I don't quite know, even though the set has been out for a while in Japan, just because, you know, I don't look at every deck list and, and not uh, every list necessarily gets uh, representation. The starter for Bauer Magnus, very cool. And spoiling it a little bit, but we have Orphist here as our second triple rare. So that's exciting. Orphist, a very cool deck. Like I've said, I, I really like the set order design space. So seeing Brant Gate kind of play around in that, I, I think is uh, is really neat. So I, I'm excited to see more come out of it. Oh, uh, we have coming out right in front is Edmantis. Great card for Stoikea. Great card. Edgar. For Stoikea, Ghost Chase, another great card for Stoikea. Vital Lever, draw trigger for Dark States. We have the Stoikea draw trigger. Uh, we have a grade three from Brent Gate. And our next triple rare is Genosa. Great card for Stoikea. Really good. Uh, good at, at hitting those big numbers. Um, and then it can, you know, power up. So you, you give this a lot of power, counter the last one, uh, and then you're able to kind of transfer that power. Um, so really great card for things like the Magnolia build. All right. So here we have a common for Dragon Empire. The Dragon Empire front. Stoikea draw. A lot of triggers, I, I feel like. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of triggers. Brank Gate. Up, oh, Curtis. Really good card. It's a rare. Really good card for um, for Barrow Magnus. Uh, synergizes really well. We have Solaria. Uh, the rare for Keter Sanctuary. Um, this sees a little bit of play in the uh, Bastion control build. Uh, but... You know, and then we have actually the hollow starter for Barrow Magnus. That's cool. Hollow starter. I actually didn't know that the uh, starters came in hollow. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six packs left in this box. And then I'm going to go through and kind of just speed open uh, the rest of these. Okay. So we have the crit for Dragon Empire, front, Simone, okay card, Ranker Chain, part of the Zorga ride line, Tear Square Sorceress, another part of the Zorga ride line, and Hexa Orb Sorceress as our fourth and I believe final triple rare. That's exciting. Hexorb Sorceress. I, you know, as a fan of Oracle Think Tank, Hexorb Sorceress seems really cool. Um, I don't think I'll necessarily play it just because I'm, you know, planning to concentrate quite a bit on Bruce and Barrow Magnus. You know, I, I really want to concentrate on those decks. So uh, I, I don't think I'll get the chance to play it. Here we have Dark State's Crit, Useful Recharger. Uber it for Dark States. Hopeful Testode. Dream Nibbling, the starter for the Zorga ride line. 
Dark Stain Dragon for Keter Sanctuary, Grade 3 Booster. And then in Hollow, or Double Rare, we have a Brant Gate card. I think that's a Prison card. Okay. feel like the high rarity cards have been favoring dark states, but basically everything else has been favoring like Ketter Sanctuary and Brant Gate and, um, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Dragon Empire. So here we have Selfish Engraver, really good card for Barrow Magnus. Heal Trigger for Stoikea. Heal Trigger for dark states. Another... Stoikea perfect guard this time in rare instead of hollow and then a hollow trigger hollow front trigger for Stoikea All right Let's go next year we have the peace dough again we have Huckle hustle front trigger for dark states. We have the among us order uh, grade three. Oh, spiritual body condensation. Really good for both the uh, Magnolia and Zorga deck. I know that now we're starting to see some Magnolia builds play, um, play the Zorga ride line. So you want to play more orders. Uh, we have the Keter Sanctuary, and then we have Tartine, but this time in Hollow. All right, I think I might have said. Ketter Sanctuary, I meant uh, Brank Gate. All right. We're getting to the end here. One pack left after this. So causality goes crazy as I will with a Brank Gate card. Brank Gate Trigger. Another starter. Another Brank Gate Trigger. We, we've got a lot of Brank... Blank Brant Gate Triggers here. Say that three times fast. So we have Shadow Leak Magician. And another Marjorie. Another Marjorie in Double Rare. So that's good. Uh, I, I'm going to need four of those for sure for Bruce. Uh, so if we can get the play set of Marjories through this box, um, that would be that would be really nice. Because Bruce is the deck that, that I really plan to stick with. Barrow Magnus, I think it's cool because it's already Dark States. Uh, it just kind of seems fun. The the soul gimmick, I think, uh, is really fun. So I'm looking forward to it. Great card for Nova Grappler. Oh, Proto Bulb Dragon. Speaking of playing Bruce, great card to pull your stuff out of soul. You have it at rare. And then our final double rare is Elenia, part of the Stoikea Nation. Very cool. So that's what we pulled. Uh, you get three, or sorry, four triple rares. Uh, what looks like five double rares, I believe. And one SP per box. Some hollows. I'm, I'm not sure if the hollow ratio and like the rare ratio is consistent. But anyways, we'll go ahead and open up these packs next. I'm going to go cut them open. And then we'll kind of go through them quicker. Okay. So here we have some more packs. Uh, this is should be one box, I believe. I've cut everything open, so I'm just going to kind of go through it pretty quick. Selfish Engraver. Nice Gungan Rhyme. Nice misprint. Double rare. That's good. Good to see. So some of these I didn't quite cut too well, so I'm going to kind of have to force some of these open. So it might take a little bit of time, but for the most part, I was able to uh, get what I needed. Our first triple rare. Dang, good pack. We got uh, Recusal Hate Dragon, the uh, perfect guard for Dark States, and Barrow Magnus. That's pretty nice. Oh, I just realized. All right. I'm just going to kind of, you know, put the the triple rares and double rares aside and kind of just uh, go through everything else. 
pretty quickly here. Shadow Army token. A hollow trigger. Electro Spartan. Oh, and Verena Arcs. Double rare. Pretty good double rare to pull. I've been I feel like I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of Dragon Empire stuff. Probably the clan I'm least excited about. But luckily they're the clan that is uh, worth the most. Our next triple rare is the police support, the prison support. Another foil trigger for Ketter Sanctuary. I guess I should put this with the double rares instead of with the foils here. Crits, always useful. We have a hollow version of the Brant Gate Sentinel. Nice. Definitely, definitely a good hollow to have, I feel. I'm not too big of a fan of the double rare foiling, but, uh, oh, Hollow Electro Spartan. I think that's our third copy. Yeah, I, I'm not too big of a fan of the double rare foiling. It just looks kind of plain to me. Um, but people like it. Our next triple rare is Alden. Alden, great card for Keter Sanctuary. Great support for Bastion. Just a good grade three. Ghost Chase, great card. Ooh. And our final triple rare of the box is Verena Valiente. All right. Verena Valiente, currently... Oh, not able to get that one out there. Currently the card that's worth the most. Uh, so even though I'm not... Uh, necessarily into Dragon Empire. It, it's, you know, exciting to see the cover card, the card that's worth the most. You know, I'm going to get a lot for it in trading. Uh, so that's, that's really what I care the most about. If the trade value is good, then uh, it's good for me. And here we have the Ketter Sanctuary over trigger. Great. I uh, was really kind of secretly hoping to uh, pull the Ketter Sanctuary over trigger uh, just in case. That way I don't have to go out and buy that much Ketter Sanctuary stuff. Uh, Bobel, Bobel Mine, yeah. Uh, double rare for uh, Rank Gate, but. Yeah, I was, I was hoping to pull that. That way I could just keep it. You know, if I end up wanting to play Keter in the future, uh, I'll have access to it. Here we have another foil trigger. A lot of, lot of foil triggers. It's a good foil to have. Uh, the, again, the double rare foiling kind of doesn't do anything for me, but uh, it's definitely still a good foil to have for sure. Sentinel and... Oh, oh, it's the SP Hexorb Sorceress. It, it keeps throwing me off. I'm like, oh, did I get, I see, it's the SP. So the SP for this is Hexorb. So that's what, our, our second Hexorb? Maybe I will be playing Hexorb. Oh, okay. I must have actually mixed up the packs here from the two boxes because now we have uh now we have zorga so i i must have uh mixed up the uh must have mixed up the boxes but oh well i mean we're gonna open them all anyways so nice zorga very very cool card uh double rare very good card for ketter yeah zorga it's it's bringing the new packs zorga really cool uh, I think the like fake two order mechanic uh, is really cool. Dark Stained Dragon, another good card. Um, so 
yeah, I, I, I like it. I'm not going to play the deck, but I still think it's pretty neat. A second Agra Rogue. Nice. I'm probably uh, missing hollows here. Just putting them in with the bulk, but I'll go through and sort it all later. Oh, a uh, hollow selfish engraver and another of the Stoikea perfect cards. But the hollow selfish enga engraver, mm, nice. It's nice. Definitely, definitely welcome. Another dark stain and another double rare. This guy. Where did I put the double rares? Double rares are here. Oh, this is a rare. So we'll go ahead and put that over here. Let me uh, clean this pile up here. All right. Our final over trigger of the night is the Brant Gate over trigger. Very cool. Definitely a good over trigger uh like the doubling thing i think is is pretty neat um so yeah another curtis good to have and a hollow trigger for dark states all right we're getting to the end here i think we got six more packs around there so we still have some double rares left. Ooh, an SP Ranker Chain, our, our final SP. Uh, my girlfriend will be pretty happy about that because if you're going to play, she's playing Magnolia, and if you're going to play the Magnolia uh, with the Zorga in it, you I believe you only play one Ranker Chain, and it's just in the, in the ride line. Another Twin Buckler. Uh, where's the oh, painkiller angel as the double rare? All right. Hollow, Ketter Sanctuary, Trigger, and we have the Triceratops for Dragon Empire as well. Ooh, there we go. This is a good one. Diabolos Boys Eden. Great support for Bruce. Really looking forward to playing some Bruce. With all of those new cards, you know, Bruce, the, the start deck Bruce, it's, it's definitely fun, but it's also definitely meant to teach you the game. Right? So... I'm excited to play it with with some more cards with, you know, effects, not as many vanillas. Uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to that. Is this a hollow? Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't think. Uh, so we have what is it? Two packs left. All in all, I'd say we pulled pretty well. I I've. You know, got most of the stuff I've been looking for. I think we we check here, but I think we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, it's seven. So this pack, I believe, unless I've miscounted, should have a triple R in it, and it is another Verena Valiente. Awesome. So all in all. Pretty good pack opening. Uh, I've gotten a lot of what I wanted, uh, so that is great. Um, there is some stuff here that I'm definitely going to have to trade. Um, looking for some Barrel Magnuses, for some Diabolos Boys Edens, um, but all in all, I, I got a lot of what I was looking for. So I'm excited to kind of go through one more time, go through the commons, the rares, and kind of see... Uh, what do I have play sets of? What do I have extras of? Uh, but I'll do that on my own time. Thanks, everybody, for watching.
Uh, I've really enjoyed doing this kind of longer pack opening, and I hope you all enjoyed it too. Uh, thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time.